We have indeed allowed one powerful man to get away with too much for far too long. Yeah. Members, this honorable man is in our presence here today. Honorable President, in these very chambers, just five days ago, you broke parliament. Please understand, Honorable President, when I use the term honorable, I do it out of respect for the traditions and conventions of this august house. But please don't take it literally. For you, Honorable President, are not an honorable man. You're a broken man presiding of a broken society. See, you're willing to break every democratic institution to try and fix the legal predicament you find yourself in. You're willing to break this parliament if it means escaping accountability for the wrongs you have done. You see, on Thursday afternoon, outside this very house, members of parliament were being arrest arrested and assaulted by your riot police. A few hours later, inside this house, our freedom to communicate was violated by an order to jam the telecommunications network. Not long after that, armed police officers in plain shirts stormed into this sacred chamber and physically attacked members of this house. This was more than an assault on members of parliament. It was an assault on the very foundations of our democracy, honorable members. Parliament's constitutional obligation to fearlessly scrutinize and oversee the executive lost all meaning on Thursday night. In fact, the brute force of the state won and the hearts of our nation was broken. We knew at that very moment that our democratic order was in grave danger. But here's the question. What did you do, Mr. President? You laughed. You laughed while the people of South Africa cried for their beloved country. You laughed while trampling Madiba's legacy in the very week that we celebrated 25 years of his release. Honorable President, we will never, ever forgive you for what you did on that day.